Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Trukon Flama. We are live here at the Monrovia City Hall where Mayor Jefferson Kochi is about to respond, officially respond to Councillor Jerome Frederick's allegation of attempting to kill uh, former Chief Justice, former Senator former National Relations Commission Chairperson, Councillor Glorious Moses Scott. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, all the press. So, thank you so much for going over to the podium. Well, principally, I appreciate you for treating our short notice as a matter of urgency. We are for you here this afternoon in relation to an errant, reprehensible, and outrightly outrageous allegation being spewed out by a man believed to be a lawyer who does not have a modicum of rectitude, Jerome Verdia. Last night on a local radio show, a serial liar, Jerome Verdia, made an outlandish allegation against Mayor Jefferson Cody, linking the law mayor to an alleged armed robbery that occurred at the former Chief Justice Councillor Gloria Mususcar's residence. Due to the godability of our society, which political actors and standards intellectuals see as feasible to play on the intelligence of the citizens without authenticating the veracity of said allegation. We have called you here this afternoon for the law mayor of Morovia in his capacity as the mayor, the arrowhead of the city government to respond to said allegation. Mayor Jefferson Kochi, the media. Well thank, <clears throat> well, thank you. Thank you so kindly. Thank uh, you, Wapi. Well, I want to use this time to firstly extend my sincere sympathy for the loss of a life of a Liberian. It doesn't matter your status or your background. When any life, any life is lost, must matter a lot to each and every one of us. As the mayor of the city of Morovia, like many other instances, that have claimed our concern. We want to say this out of one is no exception. We want to extend our greatest sympathy to the former Chief Justice for the loss of life of our beautiful daughter and those who got injured on the unfortunate situation that took place at her resident. This make no surprise how people
find pleasure on exploiting people unfortunate situation at this point in time we like to speak in the stronger term possible condemning the unfortunate attack on the life and the resident of the former Chief Justice of Liberia, Councillor Gloria Moses Scott. I think no Liberian, whether current government official or former government official or non-government official, whether in opposition or not, I think no Liberian deserve to be on an attack to the extent where their life or any life should be taken away. We have come to say we expressed our sympathy as a mayor and as a Liberian. On behalf of my family, we want to say we extend our sincere sympathy that we've been doing. We have instructed the Monrovia city government, the leadership, to make contact with Consider Scott so that we can make a paid a visit to the home as she go through a her moment of grief. And we wish speedy recovery. We also learned that other kids were also injured. We also wish speedy recovery for them. At the same time, we want to put on the security apparatus of our country to not take lightly what has transpired. Our understanding is that there were being call made by the former Chief Justice. If that is true, we encourage the security to be more proactive and robust and vigilant, perhaps more than ever before. We want to encourage the security to go to the depth of this situation so the investigation can be able to unearth those criminals or element who are in a constant hobby of creating terror, fear, or pandemonium in our society. There's no room. There should be absolutely no room for any Liberian to live on a fear. I think it's preferable for a Liberian to wake up in the morning and go hustle but should be safe and be very sure that they can go to bed even without food, but they not need to be subjected to unnecessary fear or pandemonium within the society or within their communities. We want to uh, call on all of our security apparatus to get involved and if required, our good partner, our international community, for their existence in ensuring is under consider Gloria Moses card the most important in our Liberia, but the manner and the circumstances that a child have to come across an unfortunate demise, I think is something it is unspeakable, it also unbearable. We want that the security apparatus must do everything possible to ensure that, yes, indeed, justice will prevail. Wherever the criminal may be, or wherever the criminals may be, they should be pursued with speed and exigency and so that we can be able to reveal. Every Liberian, like I am, stupid.
deserve to live in peace and harmony. Having mentioned that, I also want to call the attention of our international community, our friends, and even our political leaders, whether ruling or opposition. I think it is in Cuba upon us to, to maintain this peace of our country. We are stakeholders of our country, be it a ruling, established, sustaining, and the maintenance of the peace of our country. Because there were leaders before us, and there will be leaders after us. And there will always be one thing consistent, like the Northern Star, it is the country. This country will perpetuate its existence. All of us will have an opportunity to be served or to serve this country. We will pass through it. What we cannot do in any form and manner is to want to engender years to years what this country suffered through. What do I mean about that? When people begin to encourage statements of hate speeches, incitement, and I think it's not appropriate. I will call early this morning why engage in my normal activities. And I realize that Councilor Gerald Verdier, who are over the period of time, have tried so hard to malign my character, to create a picture that does not exist in any given circumstances. But I have come not to basically respond to him. I have come to remind us of our shared responsibility as Liberians and as leaders of this country. We are, and we also want to call the attention of our international community friends that individuals who are using the American soil to undermine the peace and stability of our country, they must clean the attention of the Americans. They must clean the attention of our international friends. We cannot be here because even our opposition friends, even though they disagree with us, ideologically and they disagree with us in terms of the policy prescription and the way we govern this country. But I think all of us are united in one accord. And that accord is to supporting the peace of our country, is ensuring that elections were held before and there will always be two consistent outcomes. There are going to be winners and there are going to be losers. And one thing that's going to remain, the country is going to remain. So I don't think in our like mind we will support any form in ensuring to honor my this peace. So every Liberian and I think our international friends, ECOWAS, we have officially consulted our lawyers, both from home and locally. We, because this has become a pattern of consider value. We also want to also allow the justice ministers to be aware there are key government security apparatus. Like we said, not basically re responding to him, but reminding stakeholders of their responsibility. Councillor Verdia, as a former government official who worked with this government, have consistently spilled out mis and disinformation, outrageous allegations that cannot be proven by him. He did that in front of the Washington and everyone of you. 
the malign my repetition and projected me as the former child soldier, owing to the fact that our contribution in this country has been feasibly clear. He went afar to the RCC, and the RCC disputed every single attempt. He has consistently written lies about my personality. Even in the United States, there are places I was confronted with those lies. But thankfully, those lies could not be proven by any empirical facts. And today, that is the reason why all of their expectations and witches seems to be full time. But we want to speak to the Justice Minister and our security apparatus. This is not just about Jefferson Cook. This is a, a, a systematic attack against a governing system. A systematic attack against a governing system. And I think, fair enough, if you want to collapse the building, the smarter thing to do is to chase the pillows. Those pillows you see, you believe, are the driving force of the resting force in strengthening the building or the institution or the structure. Yesterday, it was the legs of McGill, a few other person. I think so was so where they believed that attack did not yield any fruit. And they think the government is still proceeding. So they are purposefully cherry picking and looking for strategic individuals who they believe serve a very important character within the government within the governing structure of our country. And they appear to be that they will not rest until they are successful in blackmailing or undermining the peace of our country. The girl, the justice minister needs to take key. I will do it as an individual. I've contacted my lawyer, but I think the government need to be very keen about this. This man has spilled out. He publicly said that the president was involved in a murder saga of a citizen of our country. And we have our partners. And I think if this is not alarming enough to claim the attention of the justice minister, to contact the foreign minister, to contact, and these individuals are within the better week of the United States of America. And I hope I speak directly to the ambassador, the American ambassador. People cannot be using an American sword and try to ferment chaos and try to honor my peace and try to engage into incitement and hate speeches and hate speeches that have the proclivity to engender chaos in our country, most especially as we go to elections. Our electionary process are extremely sensitive. We are in the mood that if care is not taken, things will spark up for the wrong purpose. We are certain people who believe that the way they could clinch power is through these kind of a political chicanery and blackmailing and misrepresenting the facts. This man to associate the president with the death of three Liberians to their still to 
was saying to you, those kids who have been sodomized and seeing these outrageous coming, and we yet to contact with Americans, and I think the justice ministers, the foreign minister, and all other ministry that is concerned must take serious attention to these accusations. There is no shocker to the presidency of our country. There is no surest way to the presidency of our country. And the way is to engage the Liberian populist and let each and every one of us be judged on the basis of our records. And let the Liberian begin to judge us. They remain the only juror who can rather be a verdict of governors of our country. We do not need to malign people character. But I also think for the way because of very spoke to give, I just listening to the recording, to give a graphic explanation who also consider him to be a person of interest, who consider him to be a person of interest, to explain the way things transpire, we are interested in that. He must be able to assist the investigation with those requisite information so that the criminal and the perpetrator can be brought to law. We do not want what people aggregate onto themselves. Words and allegations what cannot be true. So I also encourage the security apparatus, the police director, to take key note. And I think we give the investigation an opportunity, most especially when a life were lost in the process. I think you cannot want to politicize death because it is a situation that none of us can replace. None of us has the ability and especially when you lost a life in a very horrific manner and you lost the life of a child I don't think those, those are those are some of the circumstances you want to politicize. And I have come that the council have called because responding, and you know, I, I, I wear two caps. I quite just let it be because the truth is always the truth. No matter how the likes of Councillor Verdi have tried over the period of time, and they cannot manufacture darkness into light, it's not possible. Because our workers are very clear in this country. You may disagree with us the way we govern ourselves and the way. We are passionate about our thoughts and our beliefs, but you cannot create an any picture in which that does not in any way represent us. And as a reason with God being about and being a Christian, a faithful Christian, and the God will serve as bigger than the plot, than the imagination. 
because I have suffered a lot in this in this field. But I say to you clearly, it is a path that I chose. I mentally stable. And it's sad and uh, I'm touched by the loss of life. If it was our normal political engagement, and then we will respond appropriately. But I'm here to console the former Chief Justice. I know what you mean, the state you mean, the trauma. And that's why we're encouraging the investigator to do their utmost best to bring closure to the unfortunate situation that occurred our resident. And our security apparatus, we think there's a pattern to engage our international friends. People should not be sitting far away from the country because if anything erupts here, those who are engaged in the hip speeches, incitement, they have nothing to lose in it. So one thing that we will jealously protect is the peace of our country. Because all of us, we may disagree on policy issues, we may disagree, but we are not prepared in any given circumstance to prove or to destroy the heart and peace. And the peace of this country, it will be foolhardy for me to say to you, it's only kept by the government. This peace is kept by the Liberian people. This is what the Liberian people want. The Liberian people are tired. They are weary. Uh, Infrastructure-wise, today we are struggling to recuperate. We are struggling to reestablish our institution. We are struggling to build the lives of our people. We are building every single fiber, step by step. Even some of the countries that were way ahead of them, Today we are trading behind them. And I think our Liberian people have come to the realization that peace cannot be compromised. And that's why as the mayor, and that's why the president has been consistent in ensuring the first time ever that I know there are some challenges, extreme challenges, but in it all, we want to want to commend them because this is the first time for the last five to six years that the security of our country after our 14 years war is being presided squarely by our own securities. By our own securities. The last 12 years, we had a huge international presence here. And that's why we have to collectively get involved in the safety and the peace of our country. So I want to let the public know and those of our people who are concerned, we want to tell our many supporters to disengage. We don't want you to be angry. We don't want anything. We understand that at this time, anything will be used to come after our person. These people are after breaking down a system. And they will never fall short. They will go after those pillows they consider to be the strongest pillow that is withholding the system from falling. And that's why we come across and we become the point of target and the point of engagement. So what all of our people remain calm, we come to re-emphasize our sympathy but I want to also tell you this time around, our lawyers, not just only in Liberia, we now contact them, even in America. So because we don't want this to become a perpetual habit of a guy who thinks he can say anything 
and just get away and say because you're in government, being government official doesn't in a way deny you your right to be giving these outrageous accusations of people. I think it's something that we think seriously and we have contacted all of our legal team and very soon they will be briefing the public and I'm just trying to bring a concern to the Justice Minister to see let us stop seeing this as an individual these people are very convinced they are coming after a system and the fact that they cannot engage the Liberian people on the business because they have said what well, the Liberian people have seen through some of those things have been said a lot have been said about me sitting before the microphone so they will not stop and they think to present this government or individuals in this government as criminals and I think it is a pathway to political office. We want to tell our police that only one way to power in this country. The way to power is through the heart and souls of the Liberian people. They are the ones who remain the true barrier of the decision in which that you want them to take. So the best you do instead of coming after us, use, your, use that time to present to the library people what you can do for them. And you take your conversation with them. I want to say thank you for coming. I appreciate you. And I think the council are very interested and I think I should respond as a mayor. But I think the party will respond. I want to deal with this politically. But I think, uh, you know, as a mayor, the people say, you know, as a mayor, you have to come and, and you know, and deal with it. So, well, uh, as a seven, I have come to respond because I work for the people of Liberia, particularly the residents of Monrovia, and uh, there was an emergency council meeting. We had a long conversation, and uh, since then, you know, we've been having, and we just concluded. And the conclusion was, Mayor, you have to respond and let the public know what the mayor stand on this issue. So as you can see, we have zero, we have never ever in this country participated in sharing a blood of a chicken before we share the blood of a human being. We have never ever participated to spill the blood of a chicken our life is moon, but people can decide how they want to consider. So we have absolutely no connection, zero connection to what I've been said. The single time that this man spoke, he was trying to use her to destroy the TLC because to misrepresent an innocent character like us, it was a calculated attempt to destroy the TLC. And we're glad that's why the TLC members came and refuted every single word that was being said by him and classified him as a pathological liar. And some people even really thought that he was, you know, that something was not right in his thought. So the same party he is driving on, we want to say to you, we want to extend our, our sympathy. We have no thought about that. We are open. And we're looking forward to a full-fledged investigation in a shorter possible time. Thank you, Sir Kamu. Okay. Okay. Um, to listen to the law mayor, Mayor Kevin Koji, he was very conspicuous with his uh, deliberations. Uh, he was clear. He spoke about the misrepresentation of his character. He said that uh, such allegation is transversal of who he is. So at this juncture, we will entertain questions from you, our professional media colleagues, uh, beginning with uh, Spoon 
Uh, Spoon yeah. FM and TV. Choco. Thank you so much. Uh, for day, my name is Choco and I report for Spoon FM and TV. Let me for earlier really said that uh, the Netherlands is one of their employees who is uh, one Van Tilly. Do you know him? Because he worked for you in the Borussia Sales Corporation. And lastly, why is he carrying firearms? Yes, so we take uh, another question from uh, the manager of Voice of Liberia or uh, Fortune. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much. My name is Emmanuel Davis, journalist in Liberia. Well, Mayor, I've come to realize that on several occasions, you've been accused of wrongdoing not only from the counselor. Can you specifically state to this public mind whether there has been any bad blood whatsoever that ever existed between you and the counselor? Thank you. Okay, so the mayor will answer the first two questions, and after that, we take uh, the remaining maybe three questions and we close for them. Well, thank you. I would like to begin by answering uh, the first question, then I will conclude with the last one. If you're concerned about the Monrovia City Police or whosoever carry firearm, I will encourage you as a journalist to read the act that created the Monrovia City Government. I'm not a security man, so I do not delve into security matters. If such thing exists, those who are responsible within the security apparatus, they will be responsible to deal with that matter. To say what somebody work in my employer. And that's why I said the councilor sounded like person of interest. We are calling for full investigation. Whether my father or my brother or any MCC employee is not accepted for such investigation. To attempt to delve into who work here and who not work here, who did not participate and who did not, I do not feel comfortable to say those things. And I think we're calling for a speedy, independent investigation so that whosoever that was involved must be brought to book. And that's why we really encourage it if there is a way that our international community can help us build our capacity so that we can be able to have a speedy. A loss of a life is a serious, grave situation where most especially loss in the life of a child who on that potential was not fully there. The sign, and I don't want people are grieving. This is not the time to politicize people grief. But again, people have the tendency to go at any level. Our politics have taken a different drive. They take a drive that there's no empathy, no sympathy. Our sense of humanity, you know, is practically questionable at this point. So I want to say thank you. On the issue of uh, whether we have a bad blood, well, I choose a role to be here. Whether that role is offending people or is offensive to them, I do not know how to respond to that. But I, for, the, for the best of my imagination, I haven't done anything that warrants someone to equip me to be a murderer. I don't think I've done anything for someone, most especially a person who is a father, I believe, who has children that can also become his son his children, a father, you're not older than I am. It's to think that if you can wake up and you equip someone who is like a child and want to equip him to be a murderer, it's up to his conscience. It's up to whosoever person who thinks 
it is a pleasure or a pleasing thing for them to consistently want to portray me because they believe the way to do it is to destroy this man and to give him an opportunity. But one thing you need to know, but now people need to be aware that the God we serve is bigger than their imagination and applaud. If that was not truth, we would have not been here. Every day people go to bed thinking and wishing, run for us. But because God would grant desire, we have yet to grant those wishful thinking. And that's why we sit here as a testimony to the glory of the true living God. Okay, so we will now entertain our lives for the questions. And we want to start with uh, Obed from uh, RFM. Thank you, Bea, for uh, listening to such a great allocation and this is the expert. Um, you could say, put here, uh, to your expose if I got you right, you said folks are using the American soul. Exactly, I wanted to know what you were actually trying to say about that. What is the official response to Patrick Gregor's allegation? One minute I heard you say you're calling all the proper state actors in the security sector to launch an investigation, and then another minute you were saying that you could not participate whatsoever is a lie, and then started lying on you uh, uh, a couple of times. Why is it every time unexplained deaths? Winston Blady from Ghana FM. Now, why is he pointing direct finger at you? I remember the, the, uh, uh, the latest census report was in there of 500 million people. What was your last finger action with the council? If you can remember. Okay, we'll take our our last uh, question. Uh, we will take the action from uh, Secretary of Boss of Liberia. I mean, I was at a boo, what's the boo? So, Segu, you, 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 are, you are noted for prolonging questions. <laughs> so, we have, to think, we have to answer the last, the mayor will answer the last uh, two questions. And, uh, okay, Chiba, let me say thank you. I want to begin by your question. It is a constant question that always been posed to me. And I think you guys have the answer. Uh, because it's easy to accuse, it's difficult to prove. Some of you need to, instead of asking me the question, you can do it two ways. Either you investigate what has been said about me, whether you have any iota of truth, or one of those who see me has the more credibility, or they want to have a political stunt. You want to ask me what is my actual response. I actually respond a consistent and enough things by is false and misleading. I have never ever participated in any form of man to spill the blood of a chicken, talk less of a human being. I haven't done that. But again, my personality has a way to engender fears and, and cowards. So what cowards normally do is that they find refuge in accusation and spewing accusation at my repetition. So with that being said, well, I can't do that. Like you, you, you are asking me to negotiate with God and say, because too many people are angry with me. God, can you reduce my blessing? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I am a manifestation that God exists and I am a testimony that a true God made. I also call it on him as much as he, what he said is false and misleading, and it has no iota of truth in it. I also encourage him 
the government, the parapets, security parapets, to launch a speedy investigation so that the perpetrator can be apprehended and he can be brought to work. And I also very concerned about the justice minister. This is becoming not just an individual, it's becoming a systematic attack against the system, which of course believe that people of us play a pivotal role. They want to bring us down and they want to see us destroyed. So with that, the fact that you cannot get Cody being corrupt, huh? the first issue here was my competence. Yeah. Yeah. Glory be to God, I've presided here close to six years now. The issue about competence cannot be anymore. Uh, the issue now is about inferring into things. So gradually, those things, the fact that I know real and not authentic would dissipate in thin air over the period of time. I also want to let the public know, as a person, I am considering a lawsuit, considering a lawsuit against him. And the lawsuit will be considered in two dimensions, nationally and internationally. I've been told that he's living in the U.S. So my lawyers are doing reviewing all the things he has said about me. They are currently reviewing it. And very soon, they will be getting back to me and will also get back to the public. And I also say to you that I'm doing that of Jefferson Kuji, but I think the Justice Minister and the Foreign Minister need to be very concerned. This guy is not just only saying Jefferson Kuji. This guy also accused the president of being associated with America. And when you say using the space, America and Liberia has a bilateral you know, relationship. Somebody cannot sit here in Monrovia and begin and use the airwave and begin to say things that undermine this peace and stability in you know, in America. And I think it will interest America a concern when general some level of concern to see what, what Liberia is uh, permitting them to do such a thing. So that's what I'm saying. We must utilize our relationship with the U.S. government so that those Liberians will not be safe on their show and honor the peace and stability of our country, most especially as we go to elections. I think it's something that you should be very keen about, and those government officials will take that into consideration. Those were my comments, and that's what I believe. Yeah, so uh, wisdom, you want to do follow up? Did the answer right? Okay. Oh, okay, you say, so oh, you say what, what, what was the question? Let like, us so go ahead. What's the action, the last interaction with the Commons uh, Chief Justice? And mm. of course, we were talking about far from two million from the latest reports. Why he? Why is he so much of a direct to this? The last interaction with you know, I can. I can't even remember that I've ever. I think if I ever met her it was during now when I was a student activist. I think we were it was during this uh, what do you call it was during the TRS report and uh, we had some that was back then I can't even recall the year that way back then when I was much more a student activist back then. Well, it's easy to say now. Uh, I would, I'm just not you know, an ordinary person, I'm only five foot two male person. What I say, I say to a point of concern, I've demonstrated a clear capacity <laughs> that, I, that I made things work and I'm a political figure. So I'm not surprised about it. people coming after me. Those who would desire to lead this country will always either be friendly or see me as a target. Okay, so um, Sekou Sherry, before we get to you, let, let's take uh, Sekou Aminata. 
Thank you. My name is Seku Amenata Kwame. Mayor, you are calling on the Labra National Police for speedy investigation when you and one of your officers have been accused. Would you be willing to make yourself available to LMP for investigation if needed? Of course. Um, I'm not above the law. Anything that I require as a thing to ascertain the facts about the loss of life of another Liberian, in a way I can facilitate and, uh, and help. It's something I'll be very glad to, you know, to contribute to do. And so I think that's why I am making the call. I can't call and, and be away for it. In a way possible, I'm available, like I've done to everywhere. History 13 scenario, that's why we're getting annoyed. I also said, look, I mean, somebody has said this before. Why well, nobody have reached out to me? So of course, I'm available for any investigation. Okay, Secretary, uh, I want to use this time to express my condolences to the way on the earth, anyone. The preliminary investigation from the police came yesterday, and the portion of it they said, I may believe he of the fact of the crash. He left it in the home of uh, the former chief justice, which is one of the suspects. May I call you, do you know this individual? Does he have any connection for you? And the next thing is, you said you've uh, called on the attention of the international community. How far have you gone? Since this morning, or maybe yesterday, based on your engagements, what have you gathered so much in terms of uh, responses from uh, the international forces of contact concerning the great allegations? Well, thank you, Sibu. I think our international partner, America, said the biggest conversation in recent time is that our beast, as, as you may be aware, our elections are nearby. And so we have a series of conversations. I mean, series of conversations with the Arab world. And I want to say to you, even the opposition have been very instrumental. They have been very cooperative. And that's why I will not say here because we are in a driver's seat and say to you that we are single-handedly responsible for the peace of this country. Well, the keeping the peace of this country is a, you know, it is a collaborative achievement. Our colleagues in the opposition and the Liberian people themselves. So, and ambassador, we have the man of peace, the partner of peace, who also provide an opportunity and the environment for this place to be peaceful. So, to being told, I was not aware about this statement made by Pastor Radio. I wasn't aware. But we all were shocked about the untimely death and the unfortunate situation that took place at the former Chief Justice resident. So, normally, that we can do due to Dr. Allen in the city. In the, many other states, it happens to the top one and the top one. So I think the city, even though this is out of our reach, is in Virginia, which is a prominent citizen. So we were also, you know, getting a range so that we could stop back and pay our courtesy and simple thanks with her for the loss of life and for the unfortunate situation that she, she experienced. On the aspect you see is suspect, that is now, am I aware? I do not know the name. I don't know any other person that has zero connection to that person. And that's why we are encouraging the investigation. So the investigation can be able to bring to book everybody. And we also think our top six could also add on to that because my own sense of trust can also be able to detect and understand the circumstances in which you know, the world will take place and how it will occur. With that being said, we stand here and we want to also again. No Liberian deserve to lose their life in a moment. Let us collectively.
may help to keep our environment safe. Let us help to keep our environment safe. The government is here to facilitate, the government is here to assist. But if we, the people, the leader, we will leave open to the government, we will not be doing ourselves fair, we will not be doing ourselves justice. I'm not giving an excuse for the government responsibility, but I'm encouraging you that we can get this together. We can do this together. And how to do this together is to begin to keep, to get something you call community policing. You see strange movement in the community, you can be able to alert the police, and you can be able to alert the security apparatus so that the security can move them faster and quicker so we can be able to you know, curb that. If you don't do that, some of these things lead to situations that we are in our country. But I think we encourage the police to do faster than we can imagine. We want to go to the depth of this situation so that we can, the criminal can be apprehended. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I would like to appreciate you for coming and uh, thanks to the law mayor, we have Yamasin Kamakoji for his strong uh, response and uh, consoling the family of so much injustice, uh, Robert Moses Cobb. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, hey, sorry where you were. I got me, uh. Thank you so much for joining Spoon TV here from the Monrovia City Corporation, where Monrovia City Mayor Jefferson Kochi has just responded uh, to. Councillor Jero verdict about his allegation against him. So say thank you so much. My name is Trukon Flama. Bye bye for my